Hey, how you doing YouTube? Alright, so I figured out a way to turn my tablet into a second monitor for my computer. And the reason I really needed this was regarding Photoshop and photo editing. Uh, to be able to keep my screen real estate and be able to use my tablet as a second monitor. Now there are two advantages to using uh, this tablet. Right now this is a Samsung Pro 4. Um, two advantages. One, I can still use this as a, uh, even though it's reverting my computer monitor, I can still use this as a tablet. I can still use this as a uh, touch screen. I can change colors and such as I need to. It's all very well uh, real time. There's not a lot of latency between uh, when I touch and actually seeing results. Um, however, I did witness an issue. Um, here, let me show you. I'm using Autodesk Sketchbook. It's my preferred choice. I also use Photoshop quite often. For getting base sketches, I like to use this. Um, let me move all the screen real estate out of here. These widgets. Do do do. No, not you. Keep you. Okay. So, drawing in here. It's a little bit latency, but if you try and do some detail work. Oops. Oh, I think that's all the way zoomed into the, uh, or what's going on here. Alright, so, if you're trying to do, uh, more detailed work, like, let's say I want to start right at the end of there, that, that, that right there is my issue, is there is, seems to be a problem with where the line, where you think you're starting, and where the line actually starts. If I want to start right at the end of there, you have this gap. So what I wound up having to do, um, this feature wound up becoming, sadly, useless uh, for being able to draw directly on my computer screen without having a touch screen computer. Um, I know you can invest in a Wacom tablet which is like $2,000. Uh, this is like 500 bucks. Uh, so I was really determined to try and get this to work. And for an $800 solution, I mean, that, that completely missed out the hole. I think it has a lot to do with the pressure too. So if I start a line, I want to start right here. After even even with pressure, yeah. So it's not 100 percent, but it works pretty good. Um, otherwise, bring this over here. Bring this back over here. Um, so the program I'm using to do this is called T W O M O N Tumon, like Pokemon, except the number two spelt out and then M-O-N. So Tumon USB, it's a $8.49 or something like that uh, for the app. But it works really great. So what I wound up doing is keeping all my, to keep my screen real estate for Autodesk's uh, sketchbook, just moved everything over here. And it works great. I wanted to show you that it works great for a tablet. This wound up being my solution to my problem. I just wound up getting a tablet and this works perfectly. So, um, I've been using a tablet, but I wanted to try something where I could draw straight on the screen, and uh, I really liked that idea, being able to see what you're doing as you're doing it. And this, uh, a tablet by all means works really well, but it takes some getting used to, and I just feel like drawing straight on the object that you're trying to edit is a more viable or a better option than a tablet, but for all intents and purposes, this works as well, and without any latency or lag or anything like that. Um, doo -doo -doo, I'm gonna create a new document here. No, no, I don't want to save this amazing drawing I made. So, for when it comes to a tablet and having two screens, if you haven't already played around with this, you may have a second monitor. But uh, basically, half the real estate of your tablet becomes for your left screen and the other half of the right screen. Um, this might bother some of you. Uh, kind of bothered me a little bit, but when it comes to thinking, hey, you know, I'm going to need to pick my swatches, uh, pick different layers, add layers. I don't want to pick up a mouse every single time I want to go over there and do that. Uh, it actually became not a bad idea to have half the real estate of my Wacom tablet devoted to my second screen. If I could choose a smaller percentage, that would be awesome, but like if I could use just this much for my second screen, 
and have all this for my main screen, that'd be nice, but I am not sure of how to do that right now. Um, as a second option, I tried to convert my Samsung tablet into a Windows 10 uh, tablet. I tried to put Windows 10 on my Android device. <laughs> um, they, I guess Microsoft is working on an option currently for uh, putting Windows 10 on your phone or on a computer, such as a Windows, or I'm sorry, not a Windows computer, um, a Mac computer or Linux. Obviously you could do that anyways, but uh, on your phone is more of the breakthrough part of that, but they don't have an option yet for a tablet. So I'm still waiting for them to come up with something like that. Uh, it's called the Windows Insider Program, and they're creating some sort of software to be able to convert Android devices into a Windows 10 device. So when they come out with that, I'll be very interested in trying that. Uh, the minimum requirements for that Windows 10 are pretty interesting. Uh, they've very much so made the bar very low, uh, requiring only one gig of RAM and uh, requiring only a dual core processor. Luckily, this tablet is a 3.2 gigs of RAM, I'm sorry, 3 gigs of RAM, and a uh, quad core processor at 2.3 gigahertz. So this should run Windows 10 pretty well, I would believe. Um, aside from that, I just want to show you guys uh, the setup. Maybe it would help you guys too. Um, maybe someone's looking for an option on using their tablet as a screen because they don't have a second monitor. Um, I'll put the link for how to set this up down below if you want a tutorial on how to set this up. I'll see about uh, creating a tutorial for you guys. All right, and uh, I think that's everything. This is my first time making a YouTube video that's uh, tutorial-esque or just showing you guys, so it's pretty cool. All right, have a good day, y'all.